What's up, Facebook world? It's your girl, Mindy C, coming at you tonight. I am going to make baked spaghetti. It is quick, and it's easy, and I need it in my life. I'm craving it. So if you are one, oh my God, here I go again. If you are live with me, drop me a one. If you are on the replay, drop me a two. You'll see that red live button up there. I'm making baked spaghetti tonight, you guys. So... Um, I got those healthy noodles, these healthy noodles from um, Costco, and I love them. Super duper yummy. Um, two carbs a bag. Um, super yummy. So I'm making this um, baked spaghetti tonight. Super easy. Hey, Chris, how are you doing? Hey, Barbara, thanks for tuning in. Super duper easy. I'm using ground pork sausage because I had it in the refrigerator. I had to cook it up, so I already browned that up. I'm going to weigh it out though because I'm not going to put all of it in because it's a two pound package. So I'm only going to put half of a pound in this recipe and I'm going to use two bags of my healthy noodles and then I'm going to put everything into the pan and then I'm going to put it and, mi and mix it all together, put it in a dish, bake it in the oven and then I'm going to enjoy it and that's all I'm having. I'm not making any more or anything else with it just super easy hey susan how are you doing hey becky how are you doing thanks for tuning in I'm making just easy breezy baked spaghetti with my low carb faked healthy noodles two carbs a bag so i'm gonna use two bags though because i'm making extra because it's gonna be for lunches so i'm gonna make a little bit extra while i'm at it and that way I'll have something tomorrow when I come home for lunch for, for work. So I'll have something to eat real quick. So super duper easy. So I got my scale. Now if you're measuring everything and you're wondering, how do I know what, how many is in what? So you can totally do everything separate. So if you have the meat, you can weigh out and do a portion size separately instead of making a whole pan. So you can do that. It's super duper easy. I'm I'm making it all together. So I'm gonna put a half half pound of Italian sausage, and then I'll have extra Italian sausage in the refrigerator. Um, sometimes I just snack on this, um, just the meat, um, or you can use it for pizzas or scrambled eggs. So when I get a chance, I I make extra stuff. Hey, Lisa, how are you doing? Oh, my goodness. Um, hey, Michelle, how are you doing? Let's see if I missed anybody. Hey, Robin, how are you doing? Hey, Erica. Hey, Bill. Uh, I think, hey, Kristen, how are you doing? All right, I think I got everybody. I think if I didn't, I'm sorry. Um, I'm super duper hungry. Late night at work. So this is what I'm having. I'm taking... All you got to do with these healthy noodles is you um, put them in the sink and then you drain them under water and then you want to squeeze them out because they hold the water in there. So all I'm going to do it is I'm going to just throw it into my pan. Super duper easy. And I'm going to use Rayo's homemade marinara sauce. So this has um, five carbs for one half cup. So again, if you're if you want to measure out individual servings, then you could measure out how much sauce that you want, and then you would log how much sauce that you use. So I'm gonna use like around a cup. That's how much I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna put a cup in there. So I know 10 carbs is gonna go in from the sauce, and then I'm just gonna mix it all together. What am I gonna mix it with? Huh? Um uh, um, I don't know. I'm going to use this thing there. So I'm just going to throw that in there, mix that marinara. And again, if you want to, um, cause you can see like two packages, you can see the two packages. It, there's a lot of sauce in there. So the whole recipe is going to be, so I know if I eat this whole pan, it's going to be 10 carbs from the sauce, but I'm not going to eat the whole pan. So I'm going to divide it up into um, into a, a couple of days at least. And that's it. And then I'm going to pour that sausage in there. No brainer. Everything is just going in the pot. You don't even have to think about it. I'm also going to put in some of these marinated mushrooms that I got from Costco. So I'm going to put those in there. And there's two carbs for a half cup. So I'm going to scoop those out. Where's my spoon? There it is. Oh. Uh, 
Hey, Shanna, how are you doing? Hey, Ron. Nice to see you. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Pat. All right. I think I got everybody. Hey, Lisa. I think I said you already. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Sheila, how are you doing? Yes, you caught me live. I'm on late tonight. I worked late tonight. So here I am. This is what I have to do. So when you're on the keto lifestyle, you know, sometimes you got to eat late. You know, I suck at planning my dinners. So I very well probably could have ate a little bit earlier, but you know, I suck. And I'm not even gonna do anything with these mushrooms. They're whole, I'm just gonna put them into the pot. I don't even care. So I'm just gonna take a half cup and I'm gonna put them in there. Maybe we'll put a little extra in there. Mushrooms aren't so bad. So we'll just put, maybe I'll put like a whole cup. That's fine. That is just fine. It's low carb, so you don't have to worry about it so much. So again, if you're tracking, you know, that's fine, but you can get away as long as you're eating low carb, you know, you don't have to, you know, track everything, you know, it, it works better if you track, I'm putting some basil in there and it's not working. I got to put it, I got to open it up. So I'm just going to flavor it up. I'm going to put a little bit of basil. I'm going to put a little bit of oregano. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of Italian seasonings. So mushrooms, sausage, sauce, and my fake noodles. That's, that's what I'm doing. I'm also going to throw in a little bit of Parmesan shredded um, and a little bit of Italian seasonings. And that's it. Maybe some garlic powder. I think we need some garlic powder too. Um, where is it at? Hold on. I keep them all the way up here on the very top of my cupboards. Let me pour some of this garlic powder in there. Got to put that. Woo! It's powdery. Powdery. Hey, Sherry, how are you doing? Hey, Nick. Happy Monday, Sherry. Happy Monday. It goes by so fast. It really does. So all I'm doing is I'm doing a quick and easy baked spaghetti. I'm just throwing everything. Taking my fake noodles. I took a cup of sauce. I took a half a pound of ground pork sausage that I cooked up earlier. And some whole marinated mushrooms that I got at Costco. Um, these have uh, two carbs for a half cup. And again, I'm not going to eat all of the mushrooms. So, I mean, if you want to divide it, so if you can divide all of it. So add up all the carbs. If you get, if you get 20 carbs and you get four servings, then that means it's going to be about five carbs per serving. So you can do it that way. So super duper easy. Just throw it in a pot. No brainer. It can be. And again, I'm going to put some, some of this cheese. One fourth cup is a, a serving. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put about a fourth cup in there. You don't have to get all serious about it. So, I mean, the big thing about keto is as long as you're eating low carb and you add those extra fats in the day, you'll be okay. You know, if you can kind of keep conscious of what carbs you're putting in there so you can get away with not having to track everything. Um, you should track everything, though, just to know until you get used to not tracking. But once you start eating like this in low carb and then knowing how to add those extra fats in, you know you'll be okay. So as long as you're not going over 20 carbs in a day, you know, don't stress out about it. And that's it. What else am I going to put in? That's it. That's all I'm putting in there. So you could also add um, peppers in here, whatever you want. And it's just going in the pot. If you want to add more sauce, you can add more sauce. So you don't have to get. And then if you're really, and if you are a tracker, that's fine. Just divide and then do a serving size. So just make a little dish. So get your own little, um, get a little bacon dish. And then do a separate pan if you're doing it for a family. Just make your own so you know exactly what's going into your serving if you don't want to divide all the numbers up. So it's very, it's really, really simple if you do it that way too. But I'm just putting it all in the pan just like this. And again, add more whatever that you want. I'm, I just did one cup of, of sauce. That's all I need. And then I'm just going to sprinkle some cheese. It's probably going to be a cup of cheese for the whole container and I'm probably going to get at least six servings out of this you know at least so it's a big casserole so if you cut it down the middle and if you cut it then 
that's all about how many servings you're going to get or how much you want. But again, if you really, really want to know what you're getting, then do your individual servings. You don't have to put everything in there. You can take a little bit of the noodles, a fourth cup of sauce, um, two ounces of meat, and then you could make your own little servings too. So you can do it. Or if you're making it for the family, you do that. And that's it. That's what it is. It's going in the oven. It was like five minutes. It's going to the oven to cook. That's what I'm having for dinner tonight. Hey, Andrea, how are you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Hey, Lori. Hey, Nick. Hey, Mary. How's it going? Thanks for sharing, Nick. I appreciate that. Hey, Beth. Hey, Anthony. What's going on? Hey, Rebecca. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Lisa Irene. How are you doing? Um, oh, my God. Yeah, I'll, I'll send that to you, Sheila. I'll give you that recipe. That chocolate cake is delicious. Um, that's a high-fat chocolate cake. Um, I'll show you real quick because I got some in the refrigerator. So I made this like fat bomb chocolate cake the other night. It's like a roll cake. So there it is. So I cut mine. This is how thin. I got 24 slices. So it ends up being like 1.6 carbs and 13 grams of fat. So these are great like little like you need the extra fat. These are great. Great for it. And it's absolutely delicious. I had another one of my friends make it tonight. She showed me a picture of it. It looks great. Looks great. Super easy, too. Um, you like the noodles, Sherry? Uh, you had the noodles last night, and I am having the rain. See? Get these noodles, you guys. If you got a Costco by you, get these noodles. Like, you can cook so many new things with them. Again, like, I like baked spaghetti, and I haven't had baked spaghetti in um, a year, and, at least a year and a half, if not longer. I'm not a big pasta eater, but I like these because I don't get all full and bloated because that's what pasta used to do to me. I still, I like pasta, but that, it always made me feel like crap, so I never ate it. Um, hey, Andrea, how are you doing? Hey, Kat, nice to see you. Hey, Kelsey, um, did you buy, oh, I bought some noodles, but not that, oh, um, okay, what, which one did you buy? The La Vida? There's a, there's a brand called Labedia noodles, and they're not good at all. These are really good. These actually taste like a pasta. They're really thin. They're light. Um, the whole bag has two carbs in it, so you can eat the whole bag if you want and not even have to worry about it, or you can divide it into two servings, whatever you want. How much, how many calories that you need for the day. Hey, Jesse, what's going on? Hey, Beth, what's going on? Hey, Lori, what kind of noodles? These are called healthy noodles. That's exactly, and you can find them in the refrigerated section at Costco. They, when they first came out with these at Costco, they did not have them in the refrigerated section. They were on the end of the aisle way, and I bought a box, and I kept them in my cupboard, and then I went back um, a few days ago, and they were in the refrigerated section, and um, it said right on, I think it says right on the package um, or right on the box, but it says refrigerated. So the first time they did not refrigerate these, but um, they were fine, but now they're refrigerated. So they are in the refrigerated section for sure, but healthy noodle. They're just, they look like a, a thin, they're really thin. They're super duper thin. And they just come in, oh, I'll show you, I'll show you, let me, let me grab them, so you can see them. So they come in, <coughs> excuse me, so they just come in the package, you can see them in there, they've got like a liquid in there, you just pour them into your colander, and then you rinse them under um, some cold water, and that's it. And then you can, I made um, chicken parmesan the other day. I just made baked spaghetti. I made chicken broccoli alfredo with these. I'm also going to make a chicken noodle soup with these. Um, so they definitely replaced the, the pasta for me. Definitely. So everybody that has had them so far says they really like them. So I love them. Hey, Melissa, how are you doing? Um, hey, Angel, how are you doing? Hey, Shay. Hey, Karen. Hey, Kelsey. Nice to see you. Hey, Janice. Hey, Monica. Hey, Lori. Okay, I'll send you that. Um, 
I'll, when I go back through, I'll send you that recipe. Hey, Marsha, how are you doing? Hey, Christine. Hey, um, yes, they're not good, Sheila. Those, those La Vida noodles are not good. I'm telling you, I bought a whole box of them, and um, they're like, oh, God. They're like so hard. Not, they don't even break down. They're not good. Not good. I would not recommend those. I'm sorry to the company if they see this, but they're not good. They, I, I, I made macaroni and cheese, and I let that crap bake for four hours, and those noodles did not break down not once. They are like they reminded me of tendons. That's what they were. You know that 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 round piece that's in the meats that you get. That's what it reminds me of. Just like that. Um, sure, Leslie, I'll send you that recipe. Um, yep, sure thing, Robin. I will, who makes them? I'm going to try, who makes what, Janice? These noodles? These noodles are called healthy noodle. That's exactly what they're called. They come in a green box. Well, they come in a box with green on it. So I don't know, Whoa! oh, I'm dripping water all over myself. So I don't know, I don't know who makes them. Um... Okay, there. That's who makes them. K i b u n, Kaiban. I'm sure it's like Japanese or something. They make all kinds of crap over there, but they're good. They're super good. So Kaiban. Hey Jeremy, what's going on? Um, K i b u n is who makes them. So if you want to look them up, maybe they have a website you can go to um, instead of Amazon. That so you might be able to do that because. I'm sure they're pretty popular because they're good. They even have a couple recipes in the back, too. But you can make any pasta dish with these, you guys. Any pasta dish. I didn't even set my timer. It's looking pretty good. Fake spaghetti. It's pretty self-explanatory. I threw everything in a pot. I put my fake noodles in there. I put some, um, a half pound of, uh-oh, I didn't turn my burner off. Man. So I put a half pound of ground pork sausage. I put some of my marinated mushrooms that I got at Costco. These are whole marinated mushrooms. So I just put like a little over a half cup in there. Some spices. I put one cup of Rayos in there and I mixed everything together and I put it in a baking dish and topped it with mozzarella cheese. Oh yeah, I put some of this too. I mixed, whoa! Flew right out of my hands. I put some of this Parmesan shredded in there too and, and stirred it up, but that's it. So you can have a quick and easy meal. So it's, it's always good to get stuff like these that makes your life a little bit easier because on keto, it's a little repetitive. There's a lot of meat. There's a lot of cheese. There's a lot of vegetables. And if you want the bread things, you have to make them all the time. So it's nice to have these options that it, it doesn't take you long. You don't have to come home and boil the noodles or anything like that. Um, I haven't had regular pasta in a year and a half because I've been doing keto that long. been doing keto and I love keto and it works and um, you can do keto in all different ways. It, you don't have to be a tracker. You just have to be moderate protein, high fat, and um, low carb. So super duper easy. It doesn't have to be um, super difficult on you guys at all. Hey Daphne, what's going on? Oh, I missed something. Hold on a second. You can't see that. What do you? What do you? What do you mean you can't see? This. It's K I B U N. Kai Bun. Can you type that in the comments? Reply to Janice. K-I-B-U-N is the name of the company. Kai Bun. Kai Bun. No, Corey, I'm not on YouTube yet. Well, I think I downloaded one video on there. I work so much. I don't have time to do that. I want to do it, though. I want to do it. Have you tried the pal um, Palomino noodles? No, I have not, but I heard about those. Those are... Um, those are... Those look good, too. Someone told me those were good, so I want to try those. Hey, Deb. Hey, Daphne. Hey, Lauren. How are you doing? Hey, Simone. Um, D.C. area. What's going on? It's got to be nice and warm down that way. Hey, Oscar. How's it going? I just made baked spaghetti tonight, you guys. Super easy. I had a, a late work night. I'm from Michigan. I 
worked late tonight. I got home at like a uh, quarter to eight and I just needed something quick and fast because I suck at planning dinners. So I'm always eating at nine o'clock at night. It's like this thing for me. I don't know. That's, that's what I do. Let me, ch let me check it. Ooh. All right. It looks good enough to me. It looks fine. And again, if you like that brown bubbly, that's it. That is super it. It only, it only took like five, six minutes to bake. Even if you put it on at 400, it'd probably bake longer or faster. I just had it. I just had it at 375. And again, for your serving sizes, so you can just cut it just like lasagna. So you can cut it right down the middle and you can gut it just like this. So you can get like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So um, you can do it that way and have a serving size and do it just like that. And But if you have two servings of this, it's going to be okay because it's super low. So I'm going to put two on my plate because I'm going to have two servings of that for sure. That's what's for dinner tonight, you guys. Bake spaghetti with mushrooms and pork sausage. That's it. Super duper easy. Super duper easy. Yes, Denise. Hey, Nikki. How's it going? I'm just getting off. I just made quick and easy. I'll go over. If you're just tuning in right now, I took my healthy noodles. I took two packages of these because I made extra for lunches through the week. Um, I put a half a pound of um, ground pork sausage um, and I got extra to put in the refrigerator for other things that I'm going to make. So, and then I put one cup of marinara sauce, Rayos, and some marinated, mu uh, blah, 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 um, some marinated mushrooms. And I added some oregano, Parmesan, and, um, garlic powder. And I mixed it all up. I threw it in a casserole pan, topped it with cheese, and I baked it. That is it. That's all I did. That's what's for dinner. Thanks, Daphne. All right, you guys, I'm getting off so I can eat this dinner because um, it's 9-11 and I want to um, eat this and then I got some more work to finish up on and then go to bed and start all over again tomorrow morning. So until then, you guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys are having a great night. I'll probably see you tomorrow, I'm sure. Maybe it'll be a little bit earlier tomorrow. I'm sure it will. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the afternoon off. I'm going to work first half of the day. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.